I liked how it was, it was actually like a real baby and you got to like cuddle with it and you could hear it breathing at night. It was like having a baby in the house. I was really scared at first because I didn't know what to do. But once I got into the flow of it, I was a little more comfortable. I'm taking care of a real baby and I took it that serious. It was also very realistic of being a parent and how you realize how tough it is and how you have to plan around the baby. It's not you anymore, you have a baby with you. There are many lessons you can learn from Real Care Baby 2. A lifelike experience of caring for a newborn. Real Care Baby 2 is programmed to be very realistic. From cooing and crying to needing to be fed, changed, and handled with loving care. Real Care Baby 2 comes with all the accessories you'll need to experience caring for a real infant. Let's look first at baby. This lifelike baby is not a toy or a doll and should not be treated as one. Its size, weight, and many behaviors are very much like a real infant. Notice that baby's head needs to be held up, just like a real infant's. The difference is that baby's computer keeps track of all the times you don't provide proper support for the head, as well as a lot of other information. Nearly everything you do to meet baby's needs will be recorded in its computer during the parenting experience. At the end, your instructor can see a full report on how well you met baby's needs. Baby cries when it needs attention, and it has several different cries. The cries start out softly, and then get louder if baby is not careful. All the sounds baby makes cooing, fussing, crying, coughing, burping, and breathing are recorded sounds of real infants. For me, it was just paying attention to it all the time, paying attention to its different cries and the cries and the different coos and stuff you got used to and you could tell what it needed. Baby comes with two diapers, one with a yellow patch and one with a green patch. Sometimes when baby cries, it means it needs a diaper change. You'll also receive a bottle or a breastfeeding device that you can touch to baby's lips when it cries to be fed. Finally, you'll have a tamper-proof wristband that holds an ID program specifically for your baby. When baby needs attention, you must pick baby up so it can recognize your ID. You will hear a chime to confirm that baby's computer has recognized you as the parent. Only your ID will work with your baby, so only you can provide the care your baby needs. Your baby will not accept anyone else's ID. You'll also receive a student care card that explains all the steps you need to follow to care for baby. Baby's needs are very much like those of a real infant. The schedules programmed into baby are based on diaries that real parents kept about their infants. Each baby has slightly different care schedules, so don't expect your baby to need the same amount of care at the same time as other babies in your class. There are several important safety precautions you should be aware of. They're listed on the back of your student care card and on the safety precaution sheet you and your parent must sign. Be sure to study them carefully. Let's consider some of the care baby needs. Baby's computer will record every second of crying time. Your goal is to respond responsibly to baby's needs. Real Care Baby 2 cries for many reasons. Whenever baby is crying, the first step always is to pick baby up. Place your ID near one of the areas where it can be most easily recognized and listen for the chime. This means baby either needs to be cared for by feeding, burping, rocking, or changing its diaper, is fussy, or has been handled roughly. It's up to you to determine why baby is crying. If you have tried to feed, burp, diaper, and rock baby, and it is still crying, 
either rough handling or head support failure has occurred, or baby is just being fussy. In either case, you must rock baby until the crying stops. You will be able to identify between rough handling and fussy by the loudness of the cries. Rough handling and head support failure cries are much louder than fussy cries. This loud cry is what you will hear if baby is neglected, roughly handled, or if the head is not supported. Baby will cry for about one minute if it has been handled roughly or a head support failure has occurred. If baby is fussy, it will cry for three minutes. You must rock baby until the crying stops. And remember, unlike a real infant, Real Care Baby 2 will report that it was handled roughly, even if it was an accident and not your fault. Earlier we mentioned that baby needs to be fed, burped, rocked, or changed. Most often, you won't know what type of care baby wants. So after you hear the chime, try each one until you find the one that stops the crying. When baby cries and wants to have its diaper changed, pick baby up, listen for the chime, and then remove the diaper. Replace the diaper with the second diaper you have. When the second diaper is attached, baby coos to signal you have provided proper care. It must have a diaper on at all times. When baby cries and wants to be fed, pick baby up. Listen for the chime. And hold the bottle or breastfeeding device to baby's lips. It will stop crying and begin making feeding sounds. If the bottle or breastfeeding device is removed from baby's mouth while it is eating, it will resume crying until it is replaced. Baby must be held while it's fed. If you prop the bottle up, baby cries after a while. When baby has had enough to eat, it coos, signaling the end of feeding. Be sure to support the baby's head during feeding. Many times after feeding, baby will cry again to be burped. When it cries again, pick baby up and listen for the chime. After the chime, hold baby against your shoulder and pat its back gently between the shoulders. Crying stops and you will hear soft, whimpering noises. Baby is trying to burp. Baby will burp if you've done a good job. If you pat baby too hard, it may cry because of rough handling. When baby cries because it needs to be rocked, listen for the chime and begin rocking. Baby will stop crying and start to make soft, whimpering noises. You will hear a coo at the end, signaling it has received proper care. If you didn't support baby's head properly or handle it roughly during care, baby will stop feeding or burping and you will hear the loud cry. Baby needs to be rocked. When the crying ends, the feeding, burping, rocking, or diaper change also ends. If you don't provide proper care within two minutes, baby cries harder and a missed care is recorded in its computer. Baby prefers to lie on its back. Other positions will make it cry after a short time. It then needs to be repositioned, but no ID is required. Baby will also make typical infant sounds when it is awake, such as cooing and coughing. These sounds require no care. Tell your instructor if there are times during the parenting simulation when you cannot care for baby, like during an after-school practice. Your instructor can program quiet times when baby won't cry or need care. Under certain conditions, your instructor may also program baby to accept a babysitter, or your instructor can provide daycare. However, these options are strictly up to your instructor. Keep in mind that baby's care schedule continues around the clock, which requires you to provide care during the night. Baby will wake you up. Any delays at any time, even when you've been sleeping, are recorded and are part of the final data. 
Real infants need care around the clock, and so does Real Care Baby too. Of course, there is much more to caring for an infant than we can simulate. Your instructor has many activities and assignments to help you gain a better understanding of the many aspects of parenting. It might be difficult at times. It's hard to wake up two or three times a night and take care of a baby, but this really does help you for the future and what you're in store for if you do decide to have children. It really taught me a lot about taking care of babies and what I would want to do as a mom and how I don't want to have kids now at all and wait till I'm like way older. I learned that babies have a lot of needs that you need to take care of because it's really hard to do all by yourself. Actually having to do it yourself is the, is the thing that makes all the difference. If you make the decision one day to become a parent, we hope that the Baby Think It Over program and Real Care Baby 2 will have given you a head start in understanding how to care for an infant.